you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. your hair now. You're looking okay the way you are. Stand up let me see. Oh look at my baby. Oh look at my baby girl. Oh you are looking beautiful. Yes I'm sure. Now sit down, sit down. Sit down. Okay. Let's okay. put the veil on. Hmm? So that we can go. Hmm? The wedding starts at 10 and it is 5 minutes to 10. Okay? This is the biggest day of my life and I want it to be just perfect for Vince. And you, know? you are looking your best right now. Baby, one would think you're 40 instead of 22. Mm. I know. But as for me, Sha, I think you should have waited before agreeing to marry him. What? Girl, when you found the man from whose rib you were made, I mean, come on. There's no reason to wait. I know for sure that I'm made from Vincent's rib. So, <coughs> it's ordained by heaven. Hmm, yes. such conviction. Hey! <laughs> Anyway, since you're happy, I'm happy for My you. sister, I am, in fact, beyond words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vincent, can't wait. Chew now, you'll soon see him. Oh, please, driver, can you please hurry up? I'm already running late. Driver, please take it easy, please. Don't kill me because somebody wants to get married. Uh -huh. What is that one? Yeah, your own will come. I oh, see. see how you oh, oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Going on, eh? Why will your son choose to embarrass us like this? Like, can't just really understand to myself. Eh? Can't just really understand to myself. Eh? Really, I do. He has never done such before. I pray nothing bad has happened to him. He is oh, a nobody. God. What, what are we going to do? Hey, God, I pray nothing bad, though. God. Eh? Eh? Hey. Your son? Eh? See I your know it's not that you What am I going to do? Your son? Eh? Eh? Try him again now. Try him again. This one is switched off. This is not what I'm calling. Okay, you call his best man. His best friend. Pick now. He's not picking. How can Vincent do this to me? How can he do this to me? I've been here for over two hours. 
I just, I just want to believe that he has a good excuse for this because this is not funny anymore. What kind of excuse can he have for keeping me here over two hours? It's okay now. It's okay. Nothing has happened to him. Oh God. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Have you spoken to him? Honest, honest, What about the best man? Have you spoken to him? Best man for his ring is not picking. Hey, something must have happened. Hey, 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 What am I going to do? What are we going to do now? Stop, stop, stop here! Stop me! Stop the car! What, what, what is it again? See, we've wasted enough time at it is now! Look, beat the poor girl and let us get there. I can't, man. I just, I just can't go through with this. I can't! For crying out loud, I thought we've been through this already! Eh? And you agreed to do this so that not to disgrace the girl? So for crying out loud, what is it again? Hey, look, hmm? turn this car, okay? Come, will you stop the Take car? Me to the stop airport. the car! Take me to the airport, I just need to get out of this town. Take Push me out! To the... This! This! This way! This! This! What is wrong with you? Huh? Look, this! Hey, hey, you listen to me. I'm a hunter. That's all I do. Chase girls. I chase them, and when they succumb, hey, I lose interest. That's me! It will be a fluke for me to marry that girl. Come on, man. I'm damn too much for one girl to handle. I am damn too much. And you know that. This. Listen, marrying that girl will mean emotional suicide. And I ain't gonna be responsible for killing another man's daughter. Hell no. This. This. Listen. I can't believe that you are saying this. Huh? I can't believe that you say this. And you have to wait to the last moment to realize this! Damn! Damn! What kind of girl, what kind of girl is this? Hey man, Noses, I feel terrible about this, okay? I feel really terrible about this. It might not be showing on my face, but I feel terrible, okay? I didn't mean for this thing to get this far. But man, this girl posed such a challenge on me, man. And you know how much I love challenges. I love challenges. Come on, baby. That's hot. But I like that. Come on. Hey, back to the 
I'm gonna get you girl, I'm gonna get you. No matter what it takes, I will get you. I've never chased a woman for more than a few hours and I will have her eating out of my hands. So what's it about you? This is the fourth week and you're just throwing insults around, huh? <laughs> okay now, let's see who's last laugh. Let's see baby. <laughs> I increased my charm. And just like every other girl, she fell. She fell hard. Then she insisted on no sex before marriage. Sex! Sex! I love sex. It's not a crime to love sex. And you know what? I proposed, man. I did. I didn't mean it, but I did. And before you know it, she started arranging things. Dresses, rings, clothes, invitation cards, blah, blah, blah. Everything just went so fast, my head started to spin. Come on, man. I just... I didn't hope for this thing to get this far. I didn't. I can't be trapped in this thing called marriage. Hell no. I can't. Beast. An animal. Oh yes, I do. The story of my life, ain't it? Moses. Hey, 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 Moses. Hey, hey. Hey, my guy, listen. Come on. Come on, man. All right. Guy, now I need you to go there. Tell them it's not gonna work, okay? Just try your best. Talk to them, okay? All right, just do that for me. Must be kidding me. Are you really expecting me to go to the church and clean up this mess for you? Moses, you're my best man. With marriage or without marriage. What are friends for? Listen, no way, man, no way. There is no way I'm going to that church without you. I mean, for crying out loud, what, okay, what do I tell the people? What, what do I tell them they've gone to? I don't know, man. Eh? For Akot, Joss, Kaduna, Gombe. Man, I gotta Please. run, okay? I gotta run. Right, just take care, Please, man. Wait, just tell them that I'm gonna call them when this heat is up, okay? This! Man, I can't. I can't. Say something. Please, 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 my friend, please, what is going on? Please, I say, what is going on? I can't find him. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? You cannot find him. Go on to where? Please, go on. Just hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Thank <laughs> you. 
Say something now. This silence is not healthy. For three days now, you have not said a word. I understand what you have been going through, but talk to me now, eh? Okay, cry, scream, wail, oh, okay, bite me now. <laughs> See, even your cousin Rita, eh? Everybody, we're all so worried. It's all. He is You see, there's nothing wrong with your knees. What happened to your knees uh, is just a case of shock. You see, your niece is physically okay. She went through a trauma. Hmm. She'll be fine. Doctor, are you sure? I am sure. <laughs> because this one, she has not spoken for days now. We are so worried. Eh? Have you ever seen a case like this before, doctor? I mean, how, how can someone just stop talking? You see, it is not uncommon in cases of shock. Mm -hmm. You see, what happened to your niece affected her badly. You see? Uh, we, need, we need some time so that her wounds will get healed. You see, your niece is aware of everything that happens around her. Mm. Yes. And you see, the way it is, as I talk to you, she can hear. But the only thing is that she, she, she cannot talk. You see, all she needs is care and attention. That's what she needs right now. I hope so, doctor. I hope so. Hey, Usanubuame. What kind of trouble is this? Eh? Eh? So, How could I have allowed her to associate herself with such a demon in the first place? Eh? If I caused that to burn. Madam, it's okay. Oh, you Madame, will wish she was never born. Madam, it's alright. Madam. If I call on the host of heaven to send that fire and brimstone right. to cause that boy, eh? he will turn to salt. It's, right. it's okay, madam. Hmm. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Madam, do you believe in those words? Okay. You see, everything that has happened, let's leave the situation to the hands of the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. And you see, madam, I pray that the Almighty God will give you inner strength to cope with the situation. Mm. Your knees will be fine. Mm. And you see, I'm telling you, whenever we're in problems, we should call the Almighty God. Doctor, thank you very much. That's okay, madam. If I cause that, if I cause that hurt. that was sent to her earlier. This thing is getting out of hand though. Eh? It's been over three weeks and she still refuses to say anything. All she does is eat and sleep. Are you sure we should have allowed the doctor to uh, discharge her? My dear, like the doctor keeps saying, there is nothing physically wrong with her. <laughs> so... See, come on, she will talk when she's ready. Daddy, when? We've heard of this ever since. When will she talk? Is it forever? Just let her be for now. I hope this does not turn into a psychiatric case. Have you? Eh? Three weeks and someone refuses to, doesn't even say a word. If she even cries or shouts, I'd be more comfortable. Eh? But this her silence is driving me crazy. Please, please. Stop bothering yourself. She'll be fine. I'm quite sure of that. Okay? Uh, Rita. Yes, Daddy. Have you heard from that fool? There's that fool. Anyway, I spoke to his friend Moses earlier on. He said no one has heard or seen him ever since. I think he has gone into hiding because of the atrocities he has committed. He had better remain in hiding forever. Exactly. Because if I get my hands on him, I will certainly kill him. 
If he ventures back to this city, he's a dead fish. Yes. Fool! Scallywag. I just wish I could meet him. Just one more time. I swear to God, he'll regret the day he ever met me. I swear. And he's not even worth it. Eh?
you are beautiful, with a beautiful heart, intelligent, strong, and that inner strength will see you through. But he was so sweet. I know. Yes. So sweet, Rita. Sweeter than honey. How could someone so sweet suddenly become so bitter? I mean, I can remember the day I met him. I was in the company of my friends and it was just after our youth service. We decided to go to a joint, you know, and all of a sudden, in this guy with his friend. Oh, thanks. Mm. I am so relieved this NYSC is finally over. <laughs> At least there will be no more attention. At ease. I hate that thing. <laughs> I wonder why the government don't scrap it. How can you say that? That's so unpatriotic, Debbie. Mm. I mean, I think it's called serving your country. Frankly, it was fun. Fun? What's fun about working your butt off for a company that pays you peanuts just because you're a copper? I beg you. I thank God it's finally over. And you oh. know what? what? I just can't wait to enter one of these multinational companies and start earning big money. <laughs> because you are connected. Oh like me, we know this and be anybody. Now this thing why I see Alawi with the tech manager. In fact, I wish it was for two years. God for two <laughs> years. Not I don't think so. Okay. Wow. Check that out, girls. Look at those guys. Ain't they cool? Check out the dark one. Mm, that's what they mean when they say God washed his hand and created this. Now, what for you? This one. Can't you see the guy that you as I do? How can I take my eyes away from such cute guys? In fact, I'm going to find a way for them to notice us now. Please don't embarrass us. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hi. What's up? How are you doing? Is that seat taken? Yes, it is. Someone's sitting there. The seat is vacant. You want to join us? Come on. My name is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. These are my friends, Maxima and Emaka. You want to join us? Come on, sit down. A very beautiful name for lovely girls. Maxima, my hi. Oh, come on. I won't buy it again. Hello. Oh, Emaka, you have such a lovely name. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, over there is my buddy Moses. Moses, come on, say hi. What's up, girls? Hello. Fine. So, what's the name? Oh, I'm sorry. The name is Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. What you girls having? You need more, don't you? Where's this wonderful guy? I'm a full thing. <laughs> come on, Maxima. What's up? Now well, that's how it started. I thought it was Debbie he wanted, but. I was the one he had his sights on. He pursued me. And the more I ran, the more he pursued. Until I fell and... He was so romantic. So loving. So giving.
Maybe to help you relax the past where it belongs. If talking about this is painful, then let it be. We had so much fun. And in all these, he never for one day asked me to sleep. And of course, that made me fall in love with him even more. Then, one day, he asked me to come to his apartment. What do you think I'm going to do to you? Nothing, it's... Hey, come on sweetheart. I will not hurt you. Okay? If I do that, then I hurt myself. Do you know why? Because you're part of me. Do you understand? You're so spotless. Now, that's the part of you that makes me go crazy. <laughs> I promise. I will not do anything you do not want me to do. Alright? Let's go. Wait, let me open the door. It's so dark in here. 
exactly how my life will be without you. My life will be dark, empty, void of meaning. Honey, you lighten up my life. You brighten up my life. I cannot imagine living without you. Would you like to spend the rest of your life with me? <laughs> You're not saying anything, Maxima. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You've, you've made me so speechless. All I want you to say is yes. I love you, Maxima. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Huh? When you wake up in the morning, I will be here to love you the rest of the day. The rest of the days and forever till our lives here on earth are over now make me the happiest man on the surface of this earth and say yes vincent i will marry you <laughs> yes vincent i will marry you oh say it again say it again i, really say I it. can't say it again i've said it Shut once say it. Come on. <laughs> I now welcome you, unofficially that is, Mrs. Vincent Omwadi. Oh, thank you. So, can anyone blame me for saying yes? What woman would say no to that kind of a man? And you know what, Rita? That was the night he made me a woman. Please, do, listen, I, I love you. I, I won't hurt you, I will not. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to do, I'm not ready for this. I know. I want to wait until we're married. But, but I propose, we're, we're getting married. I know, but mm. still. We're getting married, baby, don't worry. I love you, we're getting married. Yes, we are. Don't worry, I won't hurt you, okay? Don't worry, I'll be slow, okay? I'll be gentle. Oh, exactly. I promise, I promise. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on don't worry. You like it, I promise you. Ow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dear. Okay, you see? You like it. point in time, I could have given him the moon if it was mine to give. I loved him so much. I had already promised myself that I wouldn't sleep with anyone before my wedding, but on that night, I did because he convinced me. He said it would be okay since we were going to get married anyway. <laughs> and that was the most beautiful night of my life. And he said it was the same for him too. We both cried that night. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> he told me he loved me that he would never leave me. And I believed him. He told me he was going to show me the true meaning of love. And he leaves me stranded at the altar without even a backward glance. Okay. Is that what love is about? I mean, tell me. Is that what love is? It's... Being 
enough. E enough, Maxima, enough of this. Look at how you're crying as if somebody just died. What is all this? Of all people to cry, cry over is that base called Vincent. If he had the audacity to walk out on you, then he doesn't deserve a, a tear from you. Look, you have to pull yourself together and say to yourself, go read us to bad rubbish. That's easy for you to say. Because it's not you, it happened to. It's not that. If only I had listened to my friends who told me it was a playboy. You have to be strong, Maxima. If you grow it to only mean that he has won. You've got to be strong. You'll come away with that fighting spirit in you. I know you, you're my cousin. You've got to pull yourself together. Go out there and get yourself a good job. You are a pretty girl. An intelligent young woman with a first class degree in economics. And with that, the world is at your feet. What else do you want, honey? They say success is the sweetest revenge. And honey, that is true. We can't afford to allow any man make us lose our self-esteem. We can't. I can't sit here and watch you wallow, wallow, wallow in self-pity. I can't take that. You have to stand up for yourself. Look, all I want from you right now is to stand up, clean those tears from your eyes, and get out of this pretty particle, whatever you call it. I need that right now. You have a bright future. What was all this Vincent thing about? You gotta stand up. You have to stand up right now. And this time around, I mean it. Vincent or no Vincent, he has to go to hell. For all I care. What is this? Stand up. I said stand up. Right now, you have to stand up. I'm serious. I'm tired of this. Vincent or no Vincent, I'm serious. Nkechi, <laughs> you really missed. You should have been at the party. The place was swimming with guys with more money than sense. Are you serious? Yes. So I really miss. You really did. I hope you caught one rich guy for me too. Look at her. In your dreams. When I was telling you to come with me, Shabi, you refused. Uh -huh. But how could I have come? When my wicked board made sure I did not close on Friday to 10 p.m. And by the time I go to me, I was so tired. The last thing I remember was partying. But had I known that the place would be swarming with rich guys, mm -hmm. I would have managed to be there. Because I need to catch one rich man to get married to. So I can leave this useless office. My boss wants to kill me. My sister, your own is better. Eh? Me, I'm enjoying myself now because my boss is not around. That wicked woman is on leave. I have to enjoy myself at this break to the fullest. Before Dragon Lady comes back with her Dragonian rules. Yes. <laughs> Dragon Lady is back. And she would like to know why you ladies are here gossiping instead of doing the job you're getting paid for. Madam, I thought you were on leave. And so? I was the one on leave, not you. So I don't understand why you're not working. I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry. Don't let this repeat itself again. Now get me all the pending files. Yes, ma. Go on. And as for you, Inkechi, I don't ever want to see you in this office unless you have something specific you're doing. I hope that is clear. Yes, ma'am. So, what do you think? I think it's brilliant. Oh, thank God. I thought you wouldn't like it. Yeah, I knew if there was anyone that could pull this off, it will be you. That is why I recalled you from your leave, because this is the biggest project we have, and you're just the right person to clinch this. Wow! Thank you so much for that vote of confidence. But I could have been out of town, you know, because I am entitled to enjoy my leave to the fullest. Well, I knew you were in town. Probably holed up in your apartment with one of those Romance novels you love reading. <laughs> but I told you if you want the real thing, you go out with me. I could give you the discount. Save your breath, Mr. De Silva. I am not interested in you or whatever you feel you might have to offer me, okay? 
All I want to do is just concentrate on the job we're both getting paid for and I don't mix business with pleasure. Pleasure? Well, that's one word that I know is missing from your vocabulary. Hmm. I missed seeing your pretty face, Maxima. <laughs> you know, I really did. But if only you would allow me, I could take you to unimaginable hard parts. I like to stay on the ground level. Thank you very much. You know, it baffles me that you could turn down such a generous offer for me. I mean, a girl in your position should fall like an overripe apple. And uh, what exactly do you mean by a woman in my position? I, I don't get it. You know, a girl who's pairing up on age 30 psychosis, you know, with a biological time ticking like a bomb, scared of losing out on a two by two wedding through life. Are you trying to make a point or are you trying to irritate me? No, 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 no. I was just trying to see if you're as cool as let's say you are around here. I'm glad to see you ruffled once in a while. You know. You know, do you, did you know they call you the eyes maiden? Oh really? Well I don't care whatever they call me, okay? But you could rectify that by getting chummy with me, you know, with a G. Oh know, please, Mr. Kids. De Silva! I'm not interested! I need to cut off all this Mr. De Silva bullshit and call me Larry. I may be your boss, but I'm just a little older than you are. And very soon, we could be the hottest couple in town. In your dreams, Mr. De Silva. And without trying to sound like a broken record, I'm not interested in you or any other man for that matter. I just want to do my job. You've looked at the proposal and it is to your liking, right? So let's just get back to work, please. In other words, Am I being discreet? Well, call it whatever you like. You're the one that called me back from my leave. So allow me to do my job. Ice cream. But... You see... I can let you be for now. But don't count on me waiting forever. Better make hay while the sun shines. Because time waits for no one. I may not be available all the time because of the hot block that I am. Baby. I'm an MD by day and the hottest night cover. But seriously, I think you and I should get together someday. You know, go night clubbing. You'll like it. We could catch up from there. What do you think? Honestly, I think you should just leave my office. Whether you admit it or not, you're getting older and sooner or later, no one will look in your direction. Choose. Maxima, I think you should give this Larry a chance. Just try it. Might not be a bad idea. As far as you're concerned, I should give everyone a chance. Even if it was a madman walking the street, as far as he had something dangling in between his legs, I should give him a chance. Girl, give me a break, huh? But you know that's not healthy. You know that. Why don't you just stop all this rubbish? You're not getting any younger. Try and settle down for goodness sake. I thought we came here to have a good time, considering the fact that we haven't seen each other in a while. But it's obvious you, you're no fun anymore, and you've turned into some kind of mother hen. And I'll show you I'm no spring chicken at all. What is all this rubbish? Just come over you, girl. Okay, fine. I know you had a tough time with that vampire confit scent. But 
like that was six years ago. Why can't you just put all this behind you and forge ahead? You amuse me, Rita. You really do. So because you've chosen marriage and kids, you want to now assume that everyone else wants the same thing? Girl, I have chosen to forge ahead with my career. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did I hear you say career? Yeah. Well, that's a good one. It's a nice one. Now tell me, is it your career that will keep you warm at night? Huh? Is it your career that will give you children? Oh, please, Rita. Now you're really beginning to bore me. And if you want to continue this conversation about marriage and kids, I'm out of here. It's just that you're my favorite cousin and I hate all this thing that is happening to you. It's happening. You, you cannot just... Okay, that's it. Allow me to live it how I want to live it. Now, on to better things. How is your husband? Oh, he's fine, he's okay. He's still looking cute. Oh, still strong. Strong. <laughs> In your mouth. Very naughty girl. Very naughty. Please don't make this thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hmm. Aren't you looking delicious today? <laughs> Did you want something? Because my secretary said you wanted to see me. That was ages ago. What took you so long? Well, I had a meeting with the group managing director of Proactive and I've been there all day. So how did it go? Were you able to clinch the deal? Yes. Signed, sealed, and delivered. <laughs> and we'll be getting our first check as soon as next week. Wow! <laughs> Wow, this calls for a celebration, you know? <laughs> My God! What do you say? We do Chinese for long? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Oh, come on. You deserve a reward for clinching such a big deal. Come on, don't be a white blanket. Mr. De Silva, I get paid to bring in results, and that's what I do. Would that be all? Well, that will be all, Miss Aguirre. Thank you. Since you have rudely turned down my lunch date, and um, see you at a party. Party? What party? I wasn't aware I was going to one. And please look beautiful as usual because it's in your honor. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Our chairman. Chief Callistus Igwe is throwing a party in your honor for your outstanding performance within the last two weeks. <laughs> Me? <laughs> but I don't even I don't even know the chairman. I haven't even met him. I know. And most others don't know him. That is why I think he's just trying to rectify things by throwing a party for his staff and also to meet with a whiskey that has single-handedly rescued this company from going down. Girl, you are a genius. genius. <laughs> Look, come on. Don't give me all the credit. I couldn't have done it without you. We're a team, remember? And, if I may say so myself, you're simply exceptional. <laughs> Wow! Oh, I'm blushing, I'm blushing. I'm, in fact, I'm shy. I'm shy. <laughs> but honestly, sweetheart, that's the sweetest thing you've ever told me. So do I take it that I'm beginning to score a boss with you? Oh, God. You know what? See you at the party. <laughs>
beautiful things, and I love beautiful things. Lady, you look a lot more beautiful than I was told. Wow, thank you, sir. I'm blushing. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you, girl. And I'd like to know you better. So, do we have dinner together tomorrow? Uh, no, sir. Unless it's work related. Is that another way of saying no? With all due respect, sir, I don't mix business with pleasure. I mean, if it's something that's related to work, maybe then I could oblige you. But if it's not, I'm sorry, I can't honor it. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Listen, young lady, no woman has ever said no to Igwe Kalistos. That's why. Right. This is definitely a challenge. And you know something? I love challenges. <laughs> yes. You have guts. And that is what I love in my woman. Tell me, do you have a valid British visa? Yes, I do. But I don't see how that has anything to do with the conversation All right. we're having. Go we'll get your things ready. On Wednesday, we're going to have dinner in London. I don't think you heard me, sir. I said, go get prepared, pack your things. A private jet is waiting. I'll send my limousine to pick you up at 6 o'clock Wednesday morning. Be ready. Okay? Okay, ready. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank all of you for making our time to be here today. It's always an honor for me to socialize with all staff members now and again, but because of my very busy schedule for some time now, I've not been able to fraternize with this particular company much. As a result, I've missed out on a lot of things going on in Water Green Council. I know that the managing director, Mr. Larry Da Silva, is running things impeccably well. And I'd like to use this opportunity to commend you, Larry, for a job well done. I also like to use this opportunity to welcome officially a new staff member whom I have never met personally until today. Miss Maxima Idiaho. I am told that you have been with my company for over a year now. And within that one year, you've done very, very well. I'd like to thank you and welcome you formally into the Water Green family. You're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, three happy chairs for Mr. Deho.
Why are you ringing my bell so early in the morning? Sorry, madam. The Maga asked me to pick you up this morning. And who is your Oga? Chief Kalisto Sikwe is my Oga. And he said I should not come back without you. Even if I have to use force to get you to the airport, madam. Is that what he told you? Yes, madam. Chief Chief. Just wait, okay? Welcome, madam. Thank you. So, what do I have for you? We have um, champagne, juice, wine. Uh, let me have orange juice, please. Okay. Thank you. Orange juice. I thought you came here on behalf of your son. So, what are you saying? I am saying that I am in love with your niece. And as is customary in our land, I've come to ask your permission for her hand in marriage. Uh, Chief Callistus, let me say this. I am sorry you made a wrong journey. You see, this matter is not even worth considering. Please, just go and find someone very close to your age and settle down. Leave my niece alone. She's not here for sale. Mr. Aguero, who is talking about buying? Hmm? This is not a business transaction. Like you suggested, I've met a lot of women my age since my wife's death. But I've not been able to love any of them. I saw your niece. I fell in love with her. So what is wrong with a widower marrying a young, beautiful girl? Huh? Anyway, I suggest you have a talk 
with your niece before drawing conclusions. Hmm? Good day, Mr. Ibiaho. And I hope to hear from you very, very soon. Very shameful. What is our society turning into? Auntie, I'm 28 years old and I should know what I want. Yes, 28. 28 years old. And how old is Chief Callistos? Answer me, Toha. How old is Chief Callistos? Or is there more to this? So, it is all about money, eh? <laughs> Auntie, you say money like it's some kind of sin. Don't you know it's in the Bible that money answered all things? There's even a song to that effect. Yeah, um, what is it now? What is it? There we are. When there's money in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. When there's money in the family, happy. Will you shut up and stop that nonsense? What kind of stupid song is that? I thought it was when there is Jesus in the family. Oh, was it Jesus? I didn't know. I thought it was money. Oh, and it kind of flows, don't you think? Oh. Like... Hmm. Oh. So that is what it is, eh? Do you know how many times you have mentioned the word money in the course of this conversation? Really? I wasn't counting. Oh, Sanobua. And there I was thinking it was all my fault. Well, look at how your cousin turned out. Eh? That's because she wasn't the one left stranded at the altar. I was. Oh, grow up and stop all this nonsense. It's been over seven years since that happened. Listen, let me tell you. If you go ahead and marry that Chief Callistos, you'll be making one of the greatest mistakes in your life. Money or no money. Auntie, I still maintain that I know what I'm doing. Fine, fine, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and walk out on me, eh? Do not say I did not warn you. Do not say I did not warn you. I have done my duty. You are walking out on me. You are walking out on me. You will come back and, and come and start begging. You will come and start begging. Silly twat. Okay, so it's money. for my wife to walk. But, Kali, we have an agreement. I told you that I will maintain my job and you said yes. You agreed. I did? Yes, you did. Come on, baby. You must have been at the height of passion. You know how you squeeze words out of my mouth in bed? Mm? And this little body of yours. Mm. Lordy. Lordy. You don't know what you do to me. Oh, don't you dare treat me like a baby doll. I won't have it. We had an agreement. And I'm not going to let you back out of it. For goodness sake, I want to work. 
And if you don't want me to work at Watergreen, then I'm gonna just go and work for a rival company. And you know me, darling. I'm not one to make idle threats. <laughs> ah, my little spitfire. You know, you turn me on with all that passion. <laughs> you know something? I'm very glad I married you. You know? All right. All right. You win. Uh, you're going to go back to work at Water Green Consult as a new chairman. I don't want you to report to anybody but me. Nobody else but me. Okay? But listen, I don't want you to take on too much workload. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, thank you so much, darling. Right, I'm then. so happy. All right, now. So what do you want for dinner? Dinner, dinner, mm -hmm. dinner. You've got jollof rice, uh -huh. you've got Eddie Kai Kong, uh -huh. Afan. So, what do you want? Dinner, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dinner. I'll have my baby for dinner. Oh, come on, Callie. Oh, come on, oh. you're such a naughty old man. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go, baby. to come back here after all you have done. And what exactly is it that I've done? Don't you feign ignorance, Maxima. You know exactly what I'm talking about. If I didn't know you very well, I would think that you were jealous that I got promoted. And you see, Mr. De Silva, you really... Don't you dare patronize me, Maxima. You make me sick. And to think I almost fell in love with you. My God! I never knew you were just like the rest of them. You care about nothing but money. You're not even satisfied in warming his bed. You married him just to get to the top of it. How low can you stoop, Maxima? That will be enough, Mr. Da Silva. For your information, I am now your chairman. And if you choose, to keep disrespecting me, I will have no choice but to terminate your appointment. Maximum! Yes, you heard me right. I will not tolerate any kind of insolence from any member of my staff. Now, get back to Is this mango juice? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Haven't I told you that I don't like mango juice? Uh, I'm sorry, madam. I, I forgot. You forgot? So now, is that what you get paid for? To forget things? If you try this again, you're fired. I'm really sorry, madam. It will never happen again, I promise. I'll get your range juice drunk. I don't get out. I don't even want anything again, Joe. You've messed up my head. <laughs> What kind of staff is this? Maxima. When did you start all this? Eh? What 
what has come over you? When did this start? Look, Rita, if you came here to preach, I don't want any part of it. Do you understand? <laughs> now, wow. So this is how life is. So some people that were formerly so you can suddenly turn into a bitch. Oh, I see you've started adding insults to your preaching. I beg Rita. You're the one that said get married. You've been on my case since. Now I'm married and you're still not satisfied. What do you want from me? My soul? Yes, of course. Exactly what I want. Fine, I wanted you to get married, but not just to anyone. So you call my husband, Chief Igwe Callistus, just anyone? Maxima, there is nothing wrong with your man. But you and I know that you don't even have one heart of feelings towards that man. You don't even love him, not to talk of knowing him. <laughs> love? What's love got to do with anything? I'm surprised you would even say that word. Do you know what it means? It's funny. Have you forgotten that I once loved? And where did it land me? Almost in a mental institution. You know the genesis of everything. How can you talk about love? Please, get real. This is the height of callousness, Maxima. When did you become so materialistic? Well, girl, you may call it materialism, but I call it being smart. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know the saying that if you want to eat a toad, you might as well eat a fat and juicy one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl, I'm living the life, okay? I get waited on hand and foot. I travel anywhere I want and do what I like. All because I'm married to Chief Igwe Callistus. Hmm. I don't have to love him. He has to love me and give me what I want. And I'm fine with that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what you're doing. Because I haven't forgotten when you told me that he lost his wife. Do you know the circumstances that led to that? Do you even know if he killed his wife? <laughs> Look, girl, anything? that's unfortunate for the woman, okay? And I wouldn't bother about that if I were you. Because I'm not someone that he can just kill easily. And you know what, Rita, at this point, this conversation is a bit tired. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Tell me something. And if you want to carry on with it, I might just leave you here. All right? Let's change the subject and talk about something else. It's my house. I can do what I want. <clears throat> Many questions at one time. Hmm? Oh, this is... I should have disturbed you for Christ's sake. It's one o'clock in the morning and I've been calling your phone all day. Thousand and one questions, huh? So you don't disturb me, okay? Did you say evening? For crying out loud, this is 1 a.m. in the morning. I've been calling your phone all day, but it's been switched off. And then you didn't even bother to call me to let me know what happened during the interview. Oh! <laughs> the interview. It's all about the interview these days, isn't it? Hmm? Interview here, interview there. <laughs> but you would have thought that by right now I should have gotten a job. Okay, if you want to know what happened, I'll tell you. I blew it! 
not get the job. So how about that, dreamer? I thought you said. <laughs> so it in your dream that I got the job. Sweetie, you are drunk. Crazy, when did you start taking alcohol? Drunk. Drunk. Would you know a drunk person if you saw one? Drunk. You know what? You're the cause of all these problems. There are those in England that are working, making money. But no. Let's come over to Nigeria. You kept nagging and nagging and nagging and nagging. And now we are here without money. Hmm? This time next month, no job. Baby, we eat sand. 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 You are drunk. You are drunk. Sweetie, come on, it's okay. You look, you lost the job, but. Keep me, all oh, hope is not lost, it's not the end of the world. I believe you. No, you don't believe! You don't believe! Do you know what it means for a man not to be able to provide for his family? There I am with a child! A child! A child waiting for to be born! How do you think I'm going to be this child? How am I going to be this child? I'm so frustrated! I'm so frustrated. studied mass communication and we need someone that studied communication arts so I think maybe what I think is that. you should stop this right now what's the matter with you are you questioning my judgment if I say the candidate is ideal then he is ideal <laughs> I personally would like to see all the files of all the candidates that were interviewed on my desk what do you mean by that Mr. De Silva, I insist as the chairman and CEO that I want to see all the files of all the candidates on my desk before the end of today. Good day. And take your file with you. Nothing is impossible where Mrs. Maxima Igwe Callistos is concerned. I want that appointment terminated. But we have already sent him a letter of appointment. In fact, he's supposed to resume work on Monday. How can you just cancel his appointment like that? If you can tell me how that is any of your business, maybe then I will do so. This is my company, and I can hire and fire anyone I choose. Look, we are not running a one-man show here. And you cannot take a unilateral decision on this issue. Besides, the person we have employed is far more qualified than this Vincent Oh, that you're talking about. I mean, I interviewed him myself. Mr. De Silva, get to the Human Resources Department and get them to dispatch a letter of appointment to Vincent Onwadi immediately. End of discussion.
One of these days, I'm going to wipe that smug look off her face. Stupid bitch. Just because she's married to Igwe Kalistas, everyone must tremble and bow at her feet? Jeez. investments have made in a very long, long time. Investments? Oh, I see. Is that what you see me as, Chief? One of your purchases, right? No. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It didn't come out right. What I meant to say is that you're very, very precious to me. Hello? Oh, hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> um, uh, you know what? Uh, I can't really talk now because I'm in the middle of something. I'll call you back, okay? All right. Bye. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Who was that? No one you know. It is my duty to know who you talk to and who you see at all times. So who was that? Kali, this your obsession is getting out of hand. Don't I have a right to answer my own phone without my husband breathing down my neck? No, you don't. As long as you are married to me, you are answerable to me. Let me use this opportunity to issue a warning to you. Igwe Callistos cannot be disgraced. My children abroad are happy that their father has found love and happiness at last. If you try to make a fool of me, you'll have yourself to blame for the consequences. That sounds like a threat, and I don't like it. You're not in a position to like anything. You twisted my arms, I allowed you to walk. But don't take my kindness for foolishness. I love you. And what I love, I protect fiercely. But if you step out of line, I will deal with you accordingly. 
I don't understand why you're doing this. Why are you saying all these things? I want you to always remember that you are Igwe Callistos' wife. And if you behave accordingly, no problem. But if you step out of line, <laughs> fill in the blank space yourself. understand this, Larry. Then, I mean, I did it exactly the way it was supposed to be. Why is the chairman having a problem with it? I don't know. All I know is that she wants you to do it all over again. Shaisy, yeah. shaisy. I mean, I've done, I, it took me a week to do this. As far as I'm concerned, this is just perfect. I'm going to have to go see her myself. She doesn't see anyone except she wants to. And if she didn't give you an appointment, then I'm afraid you'll definitely not see her. But isn't this ridiculous? We work together! We should be able to see and discuss every now and then, but no, not with her. And I've been in this company for over two months now, and we've not even met before. <sighs> Man, what does it take to please that woman? Because all she does is just cancel everything I do! Well, that's our bitch extraordinary for you. Welcome to Watergreen Consult. I'm sure you'll meet her someday when she's ready to see you. But for now, you have to go back and rewrite that report. Because if you don't, your job might be on the line. You see, Mrs. Igwe Kalistas' word is law here. And you do well to remember that. You are very new there. Make things easy until you're being confirmed. I don't know why this woman never finds anything I do satisfactory. It is very upsetting. She makes me do everything twice, sometimes twice. The latest one is to call my clients and ask them if they're satisfied with my performance. Can you believe that? Looks for every opportunity to bring me there. She's hardly ever around, and I've not met her before. And when she comes, leaves strict instructions with her secretary not to be disturbed, except to have an appointment. Now, I have tried several times to make an appointment with her, just to see her. It just proves impossible. Impossible! I just want to know why she's not satisfied with what I do. Because I'm getting sick and tired of it. Right. Listen. You're being paid your salary as a grand. That's not the point. Look, just do your job, okay? Do all you can and just leave the rest to come. I'm sure she'll come around someday. Don't fret yourself. See Mrs. Callistos Igwe, is she in? It's not possible for you to see the chairman if you're not on appointment. I can book one for Look, you. Look, to hell with you and your appointment, which you never keep. I'm going to see her right now. Whether you. Do. <laughs>
So what makes you just barge into my office so unceremoniously? With all due respect, Mrs. Igwe, I think it's time to sort this out. I don't know why you would go out of your way to humiliate me in front of my clients. Mr. Richard of Image Consult gave me an appointment to meet him this morning. I go there, he tells me the appointment has been cancelled, telling me that my chairman had cancelled the appointment. Rescheduling for this weekend in Port Harcourt. Madam, it took me two whole weeks to make that appointment for God's sake. I just cancelled it without informing me first. I do not have any intention of going to Port Harcourt weekend. Because I have other things to do this weekend, madam. I don't know why you just choose to, to, to make such a decision without informing me. I tried to make appointments to, to, to see. 